next guest is absolutely no stranger to this house, that is for sure. And today, she's here baking a rhubarb frangipan tart. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Please welcome back Danielle Cartes. Thank welcome you, back. Thank you, thank you, guys. It feels so good to be back. I literally almost cried when I saw you. I'm not joking. I thought, I'm like, there's Cameron and Debbie and all the people. So thank you for having me. I'm so happy to show you all about rhubarb. We feel the same about you, but not only us here in the house, everybody at home too. I mean, you're yes. so lovable and you do such a great job. We love this. I okay. love you guys. Rhubarb for yeah. Japan tart. Rhubarb for now, Japan. Now, you bake this every single year, you told me, when the rhubarb every is just coming in. Every single year, yes. But you're saying that you could also use different types of fruit as you well. You can use any type of fruit. This is okay. a really forgiving, very simple recipe. And the cool thing about this this is if you've never tasted rhubarb, no, Cam and I are kind of from the Pacific Northwest. He's yeah. a Canadian, I'm a Washington <laughs> girl. Uh, and rhubarb is really fun. It's kind of like an, a Granny Smith apple mixed with a little bit of celery and uh, some strawberries. Okay, less so sugar you, than all less that. Less sugar than all that. Just take really, a bite really, of some rhubarb and you'll know it'll real quick. It'll pucker you up. Like, I mean, Whoo. it's literally gonna be so sour and you're gonna, the t your tongue is gonna stick to the side of your cheek, but it's so good. So here's what we do. So we've got some ground almond flour mm. and we're gonna add some heavy cream. And then right now, you're making the frangipan, okay? I'm making the center, I'm making You've the filling. You've got the dough already in yes. the pan over there, pressed into the pan. Yes, and I'm a really big fan of like a oh dump and stir. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> when Brings me back to my childhood. This, doesn't good. it taste so good? We got So we've got our whole egg okay. going in, a little bit of flour, Yep. our vanilla extract. So that was almond flour and regular flour. Almond flour and regular flour. And some almond extract. Yes, Very 100%. Good. Yep, we're gonna do a little pinch of salt. And if you're not into putting salt in your baked goods, do it because it really makes everything sing. A little salt and a little sugar, a little pink salt if you want. It's absolutely delicious. Absolutely, thank you. You did the pink salt for See, me. See, pink salt for you. Himalayan salt. I, yeah, yeah, I'm, so all, I'm all about Cam and his, <laughs> and his diet and his healthy lifestyle. I love it. So You're mixing wonderful. that all in. Now, yep. when does the sugar get in there? So the sugar goes in, right, wait. Oh, we didn't put sugar in here. No. We need a little sugar in this guy. Well, I wanted to make sure we yeah. had some sugar. We need a little sugar. We, I was like, wait a second. Because oh, we I have rhubarb. We, rhubarb needs quite a bit of sugar. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we're going to put I a little you sugar off in here. I you that. did. I was like, wait a second. Where's my bowl of sugar? Mm. And that is not the kitchen's fault. That could have been my recipe fault, too. And I used the wrong thing. So hang on a second, you guys. Let me get this out of here. Ooh. Take your time. Okay. You know what? We're going to pretend that it's already done. Okay. So let's mix this all up. And I'm going to show you it turns itself into a beautiful little paste. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. And Which this is, is called exactly, frangipan. Frangipan. This is exactly what you want. You just don't want to use super fine almond flour, the same stuff that you would use for to make a macaroon, a macaron. Okay. I'm probably saying it wrong. Macaroon. But this is what it looks like. See this nice, beautiful paste. Mm. Good call on the sugar, Cam. I was like, something's going to be missing. Well, I okay. want to make sure once you get the rhubarb in yes. there, you know you got to have the sugar. Okay, yes. good. So, so you got this, this done. Aside, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to spread that in to the tart pan. Yeah. So next, here goes the sugar in the rhubarb, because you really do need sugar in rhubarb. It's really important. Okay. We do a little bit of sugar, a little bit of flour, and then a little bit of water. This is actually important too. So the water is gonna sort of create a paste. You don't wanna put anything powdery over the top. You wanna create, like, it, it almost coats it. So watch this. And you're dissolving. You're yeah. using all that to dissolve in there. Okay. And if, like I said, if you don't have it's access to rhubarb, a lot of people in the South is too hot. Rhubarb doesn't like it. So you can use something different. Yeah. You can use peaches. How about you can strawberries? Use apples. Strawberries are wonderful this time of year. Yummy. So good. Okay. See, so here's what we go. What we go. Well, here's what we got. Here's what we go. Here's what we go. Now, if okay. you did use something like strawberries or something, you probably would add less sugar, right? Because it's a tiny bit you sweeter, et cetera, depending sugar. on. Okay. You would add less sugar. And you, you always want to taste your fruit. Like, is it super sweet? You don't need that much yeah. sugar. Because sugar is sort of like a balance. It plays this balancing act. And that's where I want people to like, oh, Good. take a recipe and make it your own. Like, beautiful. I don't like that much sugar. Use a different amount. Great. Okay. French pan in. French pan. So here we have this beautiful little pie dish. It's a tart shell and it's got a removable bottom. So the cool part about okay. this is if you don't have one, don't worry, just use a pie pan. You're okay. gonna be absolutely fine. So in goes our beautiful frangipan. Yup. And we're gonna spread it all over. And, and get then your the kids rhubarb just too. essentially goes right on top of that? It goes right on top. Okay. So you spread this out. Beautiful. And this, I always say this is like therapy. Like whenever I'm it doing is. anything like, I'm just like, oh, do you just get into it? Look at your little therapeutic motions <laughs> there you go and then you can do whatever design you want with the uh i'm not a rhubarb design on girl top. i mean there are some what i meant to say was you really... just throw it in there yes that's what there I. there are some say. people though that would absolutely make it beautiful i mean i i envy i like that people. design 
I love this design. Watch now, this. Tell, tell me about the extra butter that you're going to add in there just for a little okay. extra, like, wham, bam. So butter bam. is just for extra love. When yeah. butter melts into a baked good, it just gets so bubbly and delicious and happy. And so that's all we're doing with the butter. Okay. It doesn't serve any purpose but making, like, a little bit more of a golden crust. It's beautiful. Okay. So here, dot our butter. I'm going to use this guy. You get it in there. D get them all over. And then I know you've got a finished one in the oven, I too, sure that you're going to surprise us with. I sure do. Even though I've been, like, you know, eating away over here. Good for you. Oh, See, make goodness. it cute. When you're at your yeah. house, just make sure they're evenly distributed. But even if they're not, it's not going to ruin anything. You're going to be absolutely fine. So look how pretty. Even before it bakes, it's, like, so gorgeous. You're a genius. Okay, so let's go on you're over here. You're a genius. Here. Over here to our finished little guy. Absolutely. And let me get a little hot pad. You go ahead and bring we that out. We can pretend it's hot. <laughs> oh and we're my straight goodness. Off. Here it is. And here it is. And look at how cute this is. And we're just going to pretend that I, I shut the oven door behind me. It's like, whatever. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Okay. So look it. This is all done and finished and so pretty. Now, while it's warm, you got to glaze it a little bit. Yes, right? yes, okay, yes, you go yes. ahead and glaze. A little apricot jam. Yep. Right all on over top. the top. And then you've got to serve yourself and enjoy. Danielle, yes. you are amazing. Oh, you guys and are And I'm going to so tell good. everybody where to find this recipe right yes. here, right now. AllmarkChannel.com, everybody. Yes, Danielle. yes, yes. Thank you so much for this. This is absolutely delicious. Ooh. And be sure to visit uh, Danielle's social media as well, at yes. Rustic Joyful Food. So check that out.